Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I am back with part two of this tutorial. Now, if you missed the first part, check out the link in the description below so you can see the first part of this video. Why is there a part two? Because I didn't know at the time I created it that there would be a second part, but a group member had a question, so I thought the easiest way would be to get on and show you really quickly how you can make this even more your style. So if you watch part one, you'll notice that I made copies of my original and that is great because now that copy is going to come in hand. A group member was trying to alter and create a new background, this little piece here, so that it would match the new flower that we have created that you chose from your library to make this new card with. So I wanna show you quickly how you can do that. I'm just gonna move this little piece out of the way. That is your inside of your card if you want to cut it and use that. So what I'm going to show you is how you can create this little shape right here. So we have our pieces, our originals that we used yesterday. So I just wanna make a copy. I'm gonna hold down my Alt key, drag that copy over here. Now, what I'm trying to create is this row of flowers. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to make this one smaller, and then I'm going to simply use my replicate, and I can space those out. So I'm going to just replicate. I'm just gonna use the um, single replicate for now. Okay, so we have these four, so we're gonna go with the four of those and I could make those just a little bit smaller. And you could make it smaller just to fit with inside of your frame. So I'll show you two ways here. So this way, so if I select my four flowers, I'm gonna right click and I'm going to group those together just so they stay there. And I actually want to zoom in here. So currently when you replicate, your your flowers are not overlapping. They may look like they're overlapping, but they just are a hair off. So I'm actually going to ungroup those, and then I'm going to click on this one, and I'm going to nudge it over just two little keyboard clicks. This one I'll need to nudge over four keyboard clicks. And then the same, I'm actually gonna hit undo because that one moved down a little bit. It keeps moving down. I'm going to move that over just a little bit so that they're all matching. Now, once I have that, I can right click and I could choose group. Now, I wanna show you two ways here. So I'm going to first, I'm going to select everything here and I'm going to make a copy. And then let's focus on this side first. So if I wanna do this, I'm going to then replicate and you can copy and paste, move my arrow keys up just a little bit. And the reason they need to be overlapping is we're going to use the weld here in just a second, but if they're not overlapping, they won't weld together. So then I'm gonna make another copy, move it up just a little bit and make another copy. And this is just a really quick demonstration. So then once I have those, you can see down here, this bottom one is not touching. So what I wanna do, the easiest way to do this, I want to select everything. So I left clicked in the top left here and dragged my mouse across all of the components. And then I'm gonna hold my shift key down and click on the frame. That's going to deselect it. So the only things selected are my flowers here. And then I wanna use my align tools. So I'm just going to double check. I replicated and they should have replicated immediately directly down from that, but you can always double check you didn't move things. And then I'm going to right click and group these together. Now they'll all function as one piece. And then I want to center that. And I want to see once I center it, it's not quite overlapping at the bottom and the top. So you could stretch it just a little bit if you wanted to, or you could just simply make it a little bit bigger and really this is again a personal preference completely for you and then select both of those again and i'm going to center that once you have everything centered you could right click and weld 
and then that is going to weld that to your frame. So if I move it over here off of the page a little bit, you can see my flowers are now welded to my frame. If I zoom out here, this was the original that we were working with. So I'm going to select this one here and I'm going to come up to my fill color panel and I'm going to use this little eyedropper. And then I'm just going to pick this dark pink color just so it's the same color as the original. And then I can move this over here. You can see that because I created it after the rest of the design, it's on top. So what I can do is I can actually place it where I want it. And then I'm gonna right click and choose send to back. Not send to back, I'm gonna hit undo. And I want to send backwards. And I'm going to do that one more time. Send backward and one more time. And the more I have layers here, so there we go, we have it behind our uh, flower layer and you can see how that is. So here's the original and now here's the new one. So you could do that with whatever design you're doing. The second way you can do this is the group member, her flowers were outside of her shape. So I wanna show you how you could make it so that you are cutting off this outside edge easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to replicate this one. And so I'm going to do one down, hit my arrow key, bump it up just a little bit and let's zoom in here so you can see this. And then hit my arrow key again, bump it up just a little bit and hit my arrow key again and bump it up just a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click and drag across everything. I'm going to select it all. I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to click on that outer pink frame. So that's going to deselect it. So the only things selected are my flowers. Now I can go ahead and right click, choose weld. It's going to weld those flowers together and then I could center this. So I'm going to left click and select both my frame and my flowers and I'm going to center it. And in this case, you can see that I have this outer edge here that sticks out around it. What if I want this size of a flower? I can do that. So what I recommend is first make a copy. So I held down my Alt key with it selected and I made a copy. Now we're going to work with that compound path again that we started with in part one. And we, I want to release that compound path. The easiest way to work with this is to take the color out, so turn it transparent so you just have your red cut lines. Then I'm gonna right click and release the compound path. And then what I wanna do is I wanna delete the inside one here, I don't need it. So I just need this outer frame that's the outside edge of my frame. And I can select this. And then what I wanna do is I'm going to come over here to my modify panel and I'm going to choose crop. And that's going to cut out that outside edge. Now what I can do is I can take this original and I can move it off and I can select both my frame and my flowers and then center it. Now that I have that, I'm going to, I'm going to make a copy just in case. So I'm gonna make a copy, pull it down here. I'm going to whoop, grab the wrong thing. May select both of those and then I'm going to right click and choose weld and you can double check that everything works if you go to the send tab you should see all those cut lines and it's welded to your frame so there are two ways that I just showed you where you can create a new background that would match whatever flower you chose to use from part one Again, links in the description below to this additional step in the video. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.